Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP20 with Miguel Oliveira on board the KTM in Red Bull Ring of Austria. He won his Grand Prix just recently there and we're going to reenact that right now. Bated breath for the red lights to go out in the Red Bull Ring and with it they're gone! It's time to move Miguel Oliveira from the back of the grid. Can he make his way through? When you're starting at the back you can only go forward. It's a very late breaking move. Chops the nose off Alex Marquez there. Not the big, the best of power. Didn't get the right exit. So you do remain in 21st position for now. As we break late for turn 3. Not revised in the video game just yet. Bit of a glitch there. Zarko. In oh. fact, there's Tito Rabat to the back of the grid. He's also trying to push forward. Not quite for either the KTM or the Ducatis. Miguel Oliveira closes in to the rear of his teammate and a brilliant man, Andrea Yanoni. He will try to dive over the inside, not quite. What well, we have for the outside line is got Paul Espargo to Miguel's left. Foot on his shoulder there as he tries to dive in front. No. Paul Espargo remains in 17th. As Miguel Oliveira, we know he can do better than that, and he, that's exactly what he will do. He tries to get around the outside of Alicia Spargo, round the outside. Trying to attempt to go around the outside of Marquez too, that's not going to work there. Into turn 9, possibly into turn 10. Block pass. Not this time. Miguel Oliveira behind Marquez now. Oh, a huge slide of the rear there for Oliveira. He's going to hug the side of Alex Marquez. Can he use the turn? Oh, it's not going to happen. Marquez still holds on to 14th with 14 laps of this Red Bull ring. As Miguel Oliveira brilliantly done up on the inside of Marquez. Pushing on the rear there to effectively slide that KTM inside. So Mar Marquez is the fastest man on the track so far, the 124-221. Bit of a glitch there, didn't give me the information for the rest of the riders. As Oliveira now budges Banyai out of the way, brilliantly done. The dreaded turn three once more for, for Miguel Oliveira. The win of the Styrian Grand Prix is Peko Banyaya. He has ended his Styrian Grand Prix very early. So Taka Nakagami ahead of us had a fantastic Styrian Grand Prix before the restart after the red flag. Should have been on the podium there, but unfortunately Lady Luck was not on his side. And we're going to be very close to the side of Taka Nakagami there to be very cautious of taking out the Japanese rider. So Oliveira smells bloody, eh? he thinks he can get through on Takanakagami pretty soon. He's going to try and get him with the block pass into turn 10. Beautifully done. That's to use the speed of that KTM now to get going. It's Honda power versus KTM power in this video game. It means Honda wins. Oliveira great on the brakes into turn 1. Caught the corner a little bit there. Can't do that too many times and will will find himself having a penalty. So the gap is 1.4 to Joan Mir, who should have been the winner of the Styrian Grand Prix before the restart. Fastest man on track, Cal Crutchlow, 124, 142. Uh, as Miguel Oliveira has brought down the gap to 7 tenths behind Joan Mir now. So as Miguel Oliveira finally seems to be eking his way towards Mir, not ready for a lunge just yet with a 5 tenths gap. Well, he is closing in all the time. Could be a chance to potentially use the power up onto level 2 to give Miguel a bit of a chance of catching a slipstream. Miguel Oliveira is smelling bloody. He's much quicker than Joan Mir. He must have an opportunity to get up on the inside, possibly turn 9, possibly turn 10 if, as a last effort. Oh, he didn't need it! He had a huge moment there, but he still went for it. Impressive move from Oliveira as he moves up into 11th place. It's a 24-1-5-2. It's pretty close to Cal Crutchers that time. It's Oliveira. Oh, contact there into Morbidelli. So much contact. Oliveira's wing that has come off. That could be crucial for Miguel's, Miguel's chance. 
Jack Miller, beautiful move up the inside of Fabio Quattararo there. Well, as Alex Renz, he looks like he's going to have a look at Fabio Quattararo in a moment, but Miguel Oliveira sliding the rear end is going to have great drive to get ahead of Alex Renz, and that's exactly what he's done. Brilliantly done. Miguel Oliveira up into ninth place. Well, don't forget this guy started at the back of the grid. As in Fabio Quattararo, the winner of Jerez, the double winner in Jerez, let me tell you. Is also under pressure from the KTM man. And here he comes up to turn down block pass. So I have just noticed the gap. <laughs> far and far in the distance is Marquez, and I believe that's Davizioso. So this is going to be a battle for the podium, if I'm afraid to say. As Miguel Oliveira. Look at that move! What a move! Eat your ass out, Jack Miller. That was a fantastic move. Oh, Jack Miller. Oh, contact again. Over to turn four, brilliant manoeuvre from Miguel Oliveira, block pass, not giving Miller a chance to get back ahead. So about 50% of the race has been completed as of yet. Davizioso has a good long look behind him, as Miguel Oliveira, hoping to turn ten once again, has taken another position. Davizioso will probably have the drive. He certainly did. Went past Miguel like he was standing still, but Oliveira is the fastest man on track so far with a 124-133. It's Davizioso, look at the speed of that Ducati, it has blitzed him! Oh, Miguel Oliveira, wow, front end up in the air. Oliveira didn't need the speed, he's got the brakes. He's got the confidence. You have to think that there's going to need an absolute miracle if he wants to get to the top two positions, but a third place is still very much an offer for the Portuguese man. As he's going to try and get past, oh, contact! Miguel Oliveira didn't mean to whack into Petrucci there. Got the two Yamahas just ahead. Now the KTM is quicker than the Yamaha, and at this moment in time, Miguel is quicker than both Maverick and Valentino. That's Miguel Oliveira. He's going to try and get ahead of Maverick Vinales. He does so. Beautifully done again. That's definitely Miguel Oliveira's corner. As Marquez sets the fastest lap, only to be beaten by Miguel Oliveira with a 123.950. Oh, was Oliveira really made a hash of that corner there? Miguel Oliveira versus Rossi now for the third place. Miguel Oliveira is coming from a way back, way, way back. <laughs> but Rossi still hangs in there. Look at him go. <laughs> Big long look from the doctor. This is going to be some sort of wicked defence from Rossi. It's two tenths of a second separates the Italian and the Portuguese man. Oliveira beautifully done. He's going to get a great drive. We can just follow the slipstream <laughs> as Rossi cuts him off. Approaching Oliveira's part of the track. Oh, front end of the air. Didn't get a chance to attack him. Turn 10 is out of the question for now. Oh, didn't enter that corner very well as Marquez sets the fast lap of the race. 123.779. That will not be beaten here right now. Miguel Oliveira still desperate to get in third place. His first podium, if we don't count the real life win. He's in the slipstream now, waiting for a chance. He's through. What a move. Brilliant move from Oliveira. Brilliant move. Oh, he's coming already. He's here. <laughs> what they do with the KTM in this game is a little bit unfair. Like It's a 75% performance rating compared to the rest of the bikes. But the speed, it is much quicker than the Yamaha, but in the game it doesn't seem to be the case. Oliveira trying to go around the outside. That's not going to work here. Not in a corner like this one. As Rossi is holding on to third place. Say what? AI Rossi is just as good as real life Rossi. He is giving me a hard time. I thought I could get past him by now, but he's just not having it. Turn nine, I've got him though. Still not. Turn ten, I've got him in turn ten. I've got him in turn ten. Got him in turn ten! Through! Oh, contact! So I'm full acceleration there, but Rossi somehow... Going to use the strength. Block pass. It's going to have to be a block pass. Up into turn one. Terrible, terrible entry on that one. I bottled it. Come on. <laughs> Oliveira. We've got him. Oh, what? He's so good on the brakes. We've got him. Rossi's wide. Oliveira's wide. Look at the battle behind. <laughs> oh my god. Now Maverick Vinales wants a piece for third place. As Oliveira, that's a risky move. We may have the opportunity here. Without budging the doctor. Oh, he's so good. 
I think what it is is just that the tyres are just depleting so much at the wrong time. We've got him. We've got him here in turn nine. We have to have him in turn nine. It's a beautiful move. Turn nine is Oliveira's. Oliveira up into third place, finally. Come on, come on. Now <laughs> we have to push. Because he's right there. He's coming. He's got the inside line. Breaking for turn three. For turn one. Holding on to the position three. Oh. Terrible drive. We might have escaped here. Oh god, not paying attention. We might have escaped the clutches. So six seconds is a gap to Carl Crutch, so that's not going to happen. Never in a million years. I've just made a bit of a mistake in that corner. Petrucci is closing in. Defensive line. He's already there. Oh, he's already passed me. What? Come on, Oliveira. Defend. Petrucci and Pushy is past. Oh, collision. Oliveira is waving. Oh, that's a brave... <laughs> that's a brave and aggressive move as Petrucci's up on the inside. Wow. Everything or nothing for third place. 1.7 laps of fuel. We can bump it up to fuel power two. Is the tyre going to give way? Oh, that's a late breaking manoeuvre. What a move. <laughs> Got him. But then Petrucci is going to come out like immediately. Look at the speed. The speed. But the brakes. The brakes. Oliveira up in the inside. Using a bit of the rear brake. All of the rear brake. Put in power saving. Too. We got terrible exit speed. I should probably drop down into first gear. Say, well, we've got him here. We've got him. Let him run it deep. Let him run it deep. Use the strength of the KTM. Contact in the corner. But perhaps. Oh, he cuts his nose off. Oliveira is going to do it. We've got him. We're impervious going up into turn 9 and 10. Surely Petrucci's not going to have a chance. Oh, he's, he's right there, though. That's it. Is he going to go for a lunge? Oh, he, he thought about it. Marquez wins. Crutchlow second. And Oliveira, somehow, from the back of the grid, with a broken winglet, takes third place. Well, Miguel can't be mad at that one. Starting from the back of the grid. Worked his way all the way through to take his first podium in MotoGP. If we're not counting the real MotoGP podium, of course. Hervé Poncharal, he'll be pleased with that one. Didn't get the win he wanted like he did in real life, but still. Third place is a damn good performance. Here are the stars of the day enjoying a round of applause from the team and fans. Everyone gave it their all today. You can't deny that these riders were on another level.